All right, time for part three, and my lights are still flickering. I wish they would stop doing that. Why are you guys doing that? There. All right, so part three of soldering this together. We're going to finish the outer part of the circuit here. These are all connected to the decade counter here, so they're just going to flash in sequence around in a circle. But then the 4017 actually has clock out that's going to be going to the bases of these four transistors that we're going to place. And then there will be four more LEDs along with current limiting resistors for them. So we're going to go ahead and start with the transistors. So we'll dump those out. And following the same procedures as before, we'll put a little dab of solder. There we go. And then we'll place the transistors. There we go. There's one. There's two. There's three. And last but not least, there's the fourth one. All right. That would seem fairly simple. And we'll just go ahead and finish soldering them to the board. Clean off the tip of the soldering iron periodically. There we go. All right. Just a quick up close visual inspection. Not the most fantastic soldering jobs I've ever done, but uh, not too bad. All right, now uh, R68, 67, 65, 66, 67, and 68. They are 470 ohm resistors, so let's go ahead and grab four more of those. One, two, three, and four. And. My solder to one pad. You know the drill by now. There we go. And then another one. And then another one. And then on this one, I'll go ahead and demonstrate the technique that I used as a shortcut at Fleetwood, which with these tweezers is actually probably more difficult, but I'd grab the, the component lengthwise and just stand it up on the board and see if I can get it to focus in. Yeah, you can see I've got it standing up on the board upright. And that's another way of doing it. Probably anybody that's done QC before is cringing, but... I'm going to go ahead and lay it down. For a quick uh, component correction or something like that, standing the resistors up like that was a lot easier. Alright, this one got a little sticky because I was playing with it. There we go. Alright, then we just need the last batch of capac or not capacitors. Last batch of diodes. LEDs. 
There we go. And these ones have a little triangle on them that looks just like an LED. So those should be fairly self-explanatory for positioning. Again, we've got a thick line on the outer side here. I'm assuming that's the negative lead. And a little diode symbol on the bottom of these indicates, I hope, the negative lead as well. Eh. There we go. That's the negative. Anyway, so the clock output of the CD417 is just being routed to the base of all of these transistors. So it'll just flash them on and off in sequence with each of the clock pulses. That's good enough. All right. And then we'll quickly solder the other sides. All right. And I need to do some touching up, a little bit of flux. All right, now that should be ready to put some voltage on. Actually, I shouldn't turn that off just yet. So let's go ahead and crop off some wire here, just off screen here. All right. Pardon me. Alright, and then that's on. Crop off a little bit on each side. There we go. Alright, now, put some solder onto the power pads. should be good enough. All right, now I just need um, need some sort of power lead. Where is my USB to alligator clip lead? It should be. Here it is. Hopefully, this is the repaired one. Oops. And I've totally forgot to focus back down when I was doing that last part. All right. I can move the soldering iron. off-screen here, put somewhere safe so I don't burn myself with it. We'll go ahead and plug this in over there. All right, and the positive goes here. Let's see how, if I manage to totally screw this up or if it works properly. Bonk. Okay, so everything's working except for these. I wonder if I soldered those on backwards. Let's see. All of those LEDs are working. That's the clock pulse, so these should be pulsing on and off in time with that clock pulse. So, something's not right. I'm going to troubleshoot and be right back. Alright, 
After a bit of troubleshooting, I figured out what the problem was. I had the signal diodes actually soldered on backwards, which I find somewhat confusing because the mark on the diodes would lead you to believe that they were supposed to be soldered the way I soldered them initially, but apparently that is incorrect. So I don't know if it's because the circuit diagram is wrong or because the my assumption on the polarity marking on the LED or on the diode was incorrect, but either way we just have to desolder and resolder these on. I'll put a mark on the video which I have oopsie which I haven't edited yet of course but uh, I'll make sure I put a note in the video that the LEDs are or the not the LEDs the signal diodes are backwards from expectations so let's power this back up and see what we've got going. There we go. Oh, that's interesting. I was expecting these to be flashing on and off with the pulse of the 555, but instead they're only flashing one, two, three, four, five. They're on exactly half the time. Every five pulses, they turn on and off. Weird. I'll have to investigate the circuit and figure out why that's doing that. Very strange. Oh well, anyway, so that's that all done. And um, hopefully you found it interesting and not too horribly boring. If you haven't already, click here to subscribe. Over here will be a video that YouTube thinks you'll find interesting. Right here will be the kit builds playlist. And right here will be a Patreon link that you can use to support further projects like this. Thanks so much for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.